Moving in general is a stressful thing for us as it is for our reptiles. So how can we alleviate some of that stress? Well, in today's video, we're going to be discussing just that on helpful tips on how to move your reptiles. So stick around. <music> My name is Nick Pulaski. Growing up, I have always had a passion for wildlife. And with that passion, along with my passion of filmmaking, I get taken on some amazing adventures creating wildlife content, getting up close with a variety of incredible animals. So come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun, seeing the beauty in our natural world. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me here today. So the topic of today's video is tips on moving your reptiles, whether it's down the street, across the state, or even across the country. That's what we're going to be going over today. And all these tips can be useful and universal in some cases as well, too. So bear those in mind when you're thinking about moving and consider these guys because these are very helpful tips. Me personally, I've moved a lot in my lifetime and I've always had reptiles throughout my life, so I've always had to move them with me. And the collection just keeps growing. So moving a collection to this caliber is definitely a huge undertaking. But maybe you don't even have this many reptiles. Maybe you have just a couple reptiles, maybe just one reptile, a few reptiles, whatever the case may be. All these tips are helpful for you guys and I believe universal no matter what your circumstance is. Definitely some helpful tips and pointers that I've picked up throughout the years and I think they would help you guys as well. Keep all these in mind no matter how far away you're moving. Well, let's get to the tips now, shall we? Now tip number one I would say is always make sure when you're planning on moving that the animals that you're trying to bring to wherever you're going are acceptable and not posed as illegal there. For example, if I took my Burmese python and I moved into Florida, that would not be a good thing because they are actually illegal there now. You cannot cross state borders with Burmese pythons into Florida. They are not allowed there anymore. So you want to make sure that you're staying up to date on the current laws to make sure that your pet is not actually illegal there as well too. That is also something huge to consider. And if it is something that is detrimental that you have no choice and you have to move to that place, I mean, it's unfortunate, but I mean, there are definitely places, rescues, and places to rehome your animals properly rather than just releasing them into the wild. You never want to do that whatsoever. So there are always different outlets in terms of rehoming and rescuing animals. There are always places places that do that. So definitely keep those things in mind first and foremost. So the next tip that I have for you guys is have a plan, have a timetable of when you need everything moved out by and when you want to move your reptile in by. And doing that will help you in the long run if you're planning maybe even a month out, planning all these things to make sure when you have to move the enclosure over, all the stuff and supplies over, if it's like a bigger setup and stuff like that, as well as moving the animal over itself. All these things are crucial things as you see going down the line in the future tips, you'll kind of see how this kind of makes more sense but having a plan is crucial you don't want to move things last minute it can be done I actually had to do it recently when we had a recent power outage I had to clear out this whole entire reptile room I got lucky but it is definitely something that is not the way to go about things I can tell you that it was a very stressful endeavor I guarantee it was stressful on them but we did the best we could possible and everyone turned out okay everyone was healthy at the end of it but you definitely want to have a plan just in case and I had an evacuation plan in place so I guess that kind of helped me in the long run as well too. But in general, for any type of move, you want to make sure that you're planning ahead. Setting a move date for your animal will help better prepare you for a successful move. The next tip that I have for you guys is thinking of ways to improve their setup when you move to the next place. So they can be thriving in their enclosure already, but it's always great to be kind of thinking outside the box on ways to improve things. And I think it's always a great time when you're moving to always see how you can learn and improve your setups and make maintenance even easier for you guys and upkeep in general and improve the well-being of the animal even more. I think those are always great things that you always want to consider as well too. Getting that fresh start in a move is always a great time to brainstorm how you can improve things, how you can improve your upkeep, how you can improve their enclosure. I think those are great things to practice in general, but a move is always a great time to start fresh and reevaluate things for sure. And that goes for the reptiles enclosure or even your reptile room in general. I'm always thinking of ways to improve the reptile room from my old reptile room to this reptile room to my future reptile rooms. I'm always thinking of ways to improve. So it's always great to have those things in mind as well too when you're thinking about a move as well. The next tip that I have for you guys is as the move date gets closer, having your reptiles enclosure set up prior to you actually moving the reptile themselves. So maybe putting them in a temporary enclosure that they're comfortable in temporarily. On the short time span that it is for maybe getting the reptile over to the brand new place, having a temporary setup for the reptile while you set up their brand new enclosure at the new place if possible, that's always a great option to do because then once the reptile enclosure is set up at the new place and it's established up to the right temperatures, 
humidity requirements, the levels that it needs to be. And then you can just put the animal directly back in there. Moving a reptile, it's definitely stressful on them. It's definitely stressful on all of us, right? Having them alleviate that stress by getting placed right back into their enclosure, that can instantly relieve some of their stress for sure as they scope out their new enclosure or newer enclosure per se. So that is always definitely something that I would consider doing is having the setup set up prior to you moving the animal themselves and putting them in something temporary. Definitely something to consider. And kind of piggybacking off of the last point is don't move the reptile while it's still in its normal enclosure. I definitely don't recommend doing this because all the decor that's in there, all the bedding, everything like that can shift around during a move no matter what you're doing with the move. It's definitely something that's not good for the animal. If something, God forbid, falls on the animal or anything like that or breaks in the enclosure, breaks the enclosure in general, that can be hazardous for your animal. So definitely don't recommend doing that. Not the right way to do it. I definitely recommend moving them both separately, putting the animal in something temporary that's safe for the animal. Definitely recommend going that route. It's better for the animal. It's better for you guys. It's easier to kind of move things out. Just clean up the whole enclosure, pack everything up individually, and move it all separately. That's the way I would go about it. Packing the animal in something appropriately sized and safe for the animal is definitely key as well too. There are reptile companies that actually sell moving supplies for your reptile so you can pack them up properly and safely as well too. Because at the end of the day, you want to make sure during the move that the animal, one, can breathe, the animal is safe and is limited in stress the best as possible because that can also cause problems too if the animal is totally stressed out during the move so you want to limit those things the best way you can and the best possible way you can so having a plan on how you're going to pack the animal up properly and safely that's always key as well too and these moving companies even sell reptile safe heating and cooling packs if you're going somewhere and they're going to be in a hot place or a cold place I mean you want to make sure that these animals are packed properly so having a game plan talking to these companies on how to properly move the animal what's the best option I would definitely go about doing that to so make sure you're doing the utmost that you can for the well-being of your animal during the move. And like I said, definitely check it out online. You can easily find reptile safe moving supplies. All right, so this next tip that I have definitely goes more towards snakes, I would say, and maybe even some larger monitor lizards as well too. But I think in general, you have to gauge it on the species. And the tip is, is don't feed an animal right before a move. So not even like a couple days before a move, I would say. So say for example, snakes. Snakes, I would say probably a week to a week and a half prior to your move, that should be the cutoff right there. Because if an animal is fed too early, the potential of regurgitating up that meal if they're a snake is very, very high. And that's not good for the animal. That's actually very bad for the animal if they're regurgitating. It's harmful for their system as well as it's going to smell awful it's the worst smell possible so you definitely don't want that to happen especially during a move you're not going to be traveling comfortably i'll tell you that you want to make sure that you're giving your animal food early enough that they're going to be well kept and well maintained not too soon where they're going to be stressing out and they're going to be actually regurgitating up that meal that is a big no-no and a big red flag that you do not want to happen for sure so definitely consider that as the moving date gets closer now obviously you still want to offer water to the animal up to the moving date because it's very important for the animal to stay hydrated during moving process but the meals you want to gauge as well too depending on the species like for snakes like I said a week week and a half prior I would definitely cut it off so definitely keep that in mind all right my last tip for you guys today is actually shipping your reptiles overnight could be an option too and this I would say is definitely something more considered for like if you're moving across the country or something like that if you have a lot of animals too I definitely think it's an easier way of doing things for sure and I think it could also be less stressful on the animals in general as well too and on yourself because you're not worrying about the animals once you pack them up safely and soundly they should be good to go and they'll just ship to you overnight and you can pick them up at a hub or even sometimes at your door as well too and reptiles are being shipped overnight every single day during weekdays for sure so it's not an uncommon practice for sure i know it can be scary for sure but there are a lot of well-known reptile shipping companies out there and i definitely recommend you guys doing your research reaching out to them for quotes and stuff like that as well too for areas of where you're at right now versus where you're going definitely recommend reaching out to these guys and seeing who you can go with and who you're most comfortable going with and these companies are great to work with so build that relationship with them reach out to them ask questions there's no question that's a dumb question just talk to these companies and see what they can do for you whether it's just getting the moving supplies yourself or actually having them help you ship the reptiles out as well overnight that's definitely something i would recommend doing is consider shipping your reptiles if the case calls for that if you need to go for a lengthier move process maybe that's the best route to go so the animals aren't stressed 
stressed out for a lengthy period of time and it's just an overnight process for them like for example when i get my snakes in they ship in overnight from other places so like when i got this girl from john from john chosma reptiles i got her shipped in overnight and even when i got eddie from the same shipment he came in overnight with this girl in the same box so these things can happen all the time people ship their reptiles in bulk loads as well too it's definitely something i would consider for the further away moves for sure so definitely keep that in mind but there you have it guys this video is actually a video suggestion from last week so shout out to whoever commented this video topic thank you so much definitely leave some video topics down below for me i would greatly appreciate those and i will definitely add those to my list and i will get to them as soon as i can really appreciate the suggestions in general what do you guys think of the tips for today's video do you guys have any tips of your own definitely leave those down below if you have any other moving tips that you guys personally have that i didn't mention i would love to hear those as well as other people would appreciate them too so definitely leave those down in the comments below thank you guys so much again for watching today's video if you guys could do me a few favors if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate it as well as hit that notification bell so you know when i upload and be sure to definitely check us out on our social media as well too i would greatly appreciate that as well thank you guys so much again for watching and until next time we will see you guys soon take care Thank you.